DeForest dominates in the first half. Stephanie Bennett goes baseline. Her team's up three. And then the Norskis, Julie Holmuth with the bank shot. But Stoughton goes on to win this one tonight, hanging on for the victory. We're in Stoughton in town in a Badger Conference tilt against Sam Mathias and Silver Eagles. Seeger was hard to stop tonight. She goes inside to collect two of her 13 points. But MG led at the break by 3, 21, 18. The Vikings broke the game open in the fourth quarter. They kept the Silver Eagles scoreless in that quarter. Michelle Strandley hits for three. Stoughton takes home the win tonight, 54 to 31. The Panthers visit Stoughton. Badger recruit Christy Seeger helps Stoughton to a 16-2 run to start the game. 13 points for Seeger tonight. Oregon tries to keep it close. Andrea Johnson from the outside. That's nice, but Stoughton dominates. Watch Tia Dale step in, pick off the pass. Takes it all the way for the hoop. And sophomore Kirsten Russell ices it with a three-point shot. Stoughton goes on to win 81 to 38. Move on to Stoughton basketball. Stoughton used to play a half-court slow style of basketball. Over the past few years, the Vikings have become a run-and-gun type of team, and a pair of names play a major part in the team's success. She's positive. She's always ready to go. She's smiling. She's aggressive. She's quick also. She's really strong inside. Even though she's a guard, she's got good strength inside. They should know each other's games. They're sisters. She's basically just an animal, you know. She makes shots you'd never expect anyone to make. She goes through two or three people and still makes a basket and gets fouled. Chrissy is a smooth basketball player. That's like the word to describe her. Um, she'll be dribbling down the court, three people hanging on her, no foul call, and she still goes down and like makes an awesome pass or like makes a layup. They should know each other's games as well. They're sisters. Despite a combined seven years of varsity experience for Christy and Jenny Seeger, people still mix the two up. A lot of people think we're twins actually, but I have no idea how they see that. <laughs> It took Mr. Hall a couple years actually to get our name straight. The twins would be Diane and Michelle Strandley, Stoughton's other set of sisters. Eventually it takes them like half the game to realize that there's two of us out there and so, I don't know, just seeing them like point at us and start laughing at us. I like that, I think that's funny. Or they'll, um, she's right-handed, I'm left-handed, so they'll naturally like overplay her right hand. So when I come out, they'll want to play, they'll want to overplay my right hand. All four sisters bring a different style to the court. And while Jenny Seeger ranks in varsity seniority with four years, it's her younger half grabbing the headlines. When I was a freshman and a sophomore, mostly it was Jenny's sister Christy, but in the past couple of years, I guess it's kind of switched it over to Christy's sister Jenny. And I think since I'm the oldest, that my name should be first. So this year we got one article that says Jenny's sister Christy, and I blew it up and hung it on my door. Stoughton head coach Rich Hall says his team's rise over the past few years a direct result of all four girls work ethic and their off-season training to milwaukee washington in a division one quarterfinal game we go to the cole center stoughton keeps the game close early in the first half senior beth hecker drains the long three then christy seeger on the break gets the hoop and the hat seeger leads the vikings with 16 points tonight but stoughton can't find an answer for the pergolders jerica watson Here's Watson Bledsoe. makes this great move Tom down Watson. the middle for two of her 16 points. The Pergolders win 60 to 39. Went through two defenders, 13 points. It's kind of plain and simple. We were out quick, we were out shot, we were out hustled. Um, they clearly were the better team. And uh, I, I told my girls, I said, well, you know, we had a great season. Um, you hold your head up high and you're pr you should be proud of Stoughton. Uh, we never gave up. We kept fighting in there. Um, to say we're a better ball team tonight. Had these on before. Rich, last week we had a spectacular event or a couple of weeks ago at the DeForest game. Uh, the Rural Insurance Company came here to award, uh, I guess everybody in town, but I'd say you and the direction you gave our, our uh, state uh, fantastic team last year, came in second in the state. A beautiful, exciting thing for our town. Can you tell the viewers a little bit about the Sportsmanship Award and I guess uh, what it means to our town and what it means to the team? Well, we were very proud. We did a lot, made a, a lot of accomplishments last year, but I think this was probably the ultimate at the end of the year. And it was not only for our team and the coaches, but it was also for our community and our, our support that we got all year. And it, it was so 
proud of this of, of such an award because it was like the only award that was it administered to girls basketball the whole state of Wisconsin and so that was pretty prestigious for us um, they had several judges throughout all the contest um, and they were up in the crowd they were observing the team they were observing the coaches and so it was like a really community effort that went into this award and we're very very proud of it we have a big plaque that's uh, sitting down in the hallway across from the gymnasium we have a big banner that we have it's going to be administered in the gym and so it's something we're very proud of as a team as successful as we were you know having a 24 and 0 season till the state tournament you think that what else could happen well it did and that was pretty great for us well I, I think it was great I think I speak on behalf of everybody in this town boy was it exciting another season is coming up well you, you know win or lose whatever you do uh, you're a great example to the kids we're proud of you and I want to make sure that uh, that uh, all the sports get the mention here on our broadcast that they deserve so well, rich I want to thank you it. Uh, we appreciate it very much thank you our pleasure rich